All right, this is Jimbo's Great Adventures, and today we are going to install the Airlift 1000 for my Nissan Armada. Um, the sag on this thing, I'm oh, sorry I can't get a good picture of it in the garage, but I get a lot of sag when I tow my camper over here. And uh, with the first couple of years it was, it was fine, but then I guess I've worn out the leaf springs, uh, or the uh, coil springs I should say. So what this is supposed to do is go up inside the springs and then you fill it with air and it's supposed to help level out the load. So uh, today we're going to try to get this installed and see what it looks like. All right, this is everything that comes in the package. Uh, looks like we got a quite a bit of airline here. Um, all the parts that we need to run the air hose, the air lines to the back. Uh, that's the top cap. So now I got to work on getting these things squeezed down enough to where I can fit them up into the springs. All right, so what I have going on right now is I kind of got down on my knees and kind of crinkled this thing together, took the air cap off while I was squishing it down. Once I put the zip ties around it, once you get that last zip tie in there, put the air valve back on or the air cap the valve cap back on there now we're going to see about getting this thing up in the springs i don't know if you can see this but this is where we're going to have to fit this this has to go up in there looks like fun i am going to once i get it up in there then uh, cut the zip ties and we'll see what happens after that. All right, so I squeezed it up in there. It is up in there now, so I just gotta cut the zip ties and run the air line to it. All right, so now I got both airbags in. I had to put the Schrader valve right here next to the hookup. All right, the line. This runs down over there, comes up to a connection there, and I got it kind of routed up underneath the frame, going over to that bag there, and then going over to that bag over there. So I keep the lines a little loose, that way they can have, you know, some, a little bit of pull in them, and then I will pump them up and make sure I don't have any leaks. All right, looks like everything is holding pretty good. Got the airbags in there. They are now fully, fully blown up inside the rings, or the springs, I'm sorry. Everything seems to be pretty airtight. I will do a follow-up video after I go on a trip with my camper and let you guys know uh, what I think about it. But yeah, there you have it. Not too hard to install. Uh, if you would, like my video and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Just wanted to come back and show you guys a picture now. Uh, looks like it's riding smooth with the air shocks in there before it was tucking down pretty low. So, uh, great product.